If a client has an issue, pick up the phone. Hey, what's up everybody, this is Kevin. So this happens very often and we've kind of nipped this in the butt, but every once in a while, this comes up again. Mostly with clients, if they email us and it seems like they are experiencing an issue or they're upset about something or we mess something up, it can easily lead into just a ton of email chains back and forth between different people. And the best thing to do in that situation is just to stop responding to email and pick up the phone. There's no way to tell tone in the email or any kind of text, right? So if they text message you, they might sound upset. They may not be. They may also be very upset and it seems like they were not. So really the best thing to do, if you see the client is upset or you've missed something and they want to set up a meeting or whatever it may be, just pick up the phone. Most times when I've done this, you have a conversation with them and everything's cool or they were upset and now you can talk to them, figure out what the problem is and address it over the phone. Emails get lost, you can't read tone, and then they just get more frustrated. So stop everything, don't assume, pick up the phone. And I think that's another problem too. Everyone may assume, maybe it's one of my team members, like, oh, they're really pissed off, look what they said. And everyone's trying to like figure it out, what does it mean, what do they mean by this, whose fault was it? All that crap goes through everyone's minds and you're trying to, you're wasting time and energy on trying to solve an issue that if you picked up the phone for five seconds, they may explain it and not have been even pissed off about it. So uh, it's a lot of time wasted by trying to assume and, and everyone getting together and, oh, what are we going to do about this client? They look like they're really pissed off. What do we do wrong? It's just a waste of time and energy. Pick up the phone. I know that's hard. Sometimes we don't want to talk to the client. Sometimes, you know, maybe some of my team members would be worried to get on the phone with the client and talk to them, but it's just something that has to happen. It's not something that I love to do, but years ago, I decided that that's what you have to do to get things back on track. So get a bad email or even any email with a lot of questions or things like that from a customer, pick up the phone. Don't email 10 times trying to figure out what they actually want uh, from you. Pick up the phone. Hey there. If you found value in this video, just wait because we're going to be putting out a lot more great content just like this. Please consider subscribing below.